YouTube, what's the word, man? This is salary cap action. That's why they watch. That's why they hit the like button. That's why they comment. I also want you guys to hit the description below and follow my Instagram page. One of my goals is to get my Instagram over 10,000 followers. That way I'm able to post some links in the story, get you guys to my YouTube and all my other links very quickly. As you see here, I'm playing Kerry Q, the Deuce Close Specialist. We all have played Deuce Close, man, but contrary to most people, Kerry can really pass out of Deuce Close. And speaking of pass, LaDainian Tomlinson just locked up my Vernon Davis. He has LaDainian Tomlinson at linebacker. Just for that reason, be able to man up and have the speed as he hits. Um, I believe he has Joe Mixon at tight end. He uses Deuce Close. He has Joe Mixon at one tight end, and I believe <clears throat> Vernon Davis at the other tight end, along with Julio and Calvin. He uses Patrick Mahomes. You know, most people are running around with Vic. That new Lamar Jackson card is out here, but Kerry chooses to use Patrick Mahomes. Be a little bit different, I guess. He has Chris Johnson at running back. And he hits me with a deep post over the middle. Spin move, Julio Jones. That was, I'm running a little match coverage like a couple of my other previous gameplays, man. Trying to mix in the match, especially against Deuce, because I don't want to get beat by that corner route. Surprised me with the way they played that. Wasn't sure how they were going to play it. As I hit this crossing route here to Moss, try to get out of there, but trip up on Deion Sanders. You see, Kerry's going to man up a lot of people. I feel like I had the speed. To go ahead and uh, take advantage of that. The plays to take advantage of that. Calvin Johnson, Randy Moss, Julio Jones, and Vernon Davis. Those are my wide receivers as we get a lot of pressure on me right there. Threw a pick my first drive, so I got to go ahead and score, man. I can't, you know, not give up any more points. Randy Moss right there, man. And one thing about the game, man, it looked like I could have possession caught that. But, man, you got a wide catch. Everything wide caught it was able to get my feet in bounds. Uh, speaking of get my feet in bounds, Vernon Davis does not get his feet in bounds right there. Got a third and goal. We go stretch. I have a 26 cap running back. Joe Mixon is my running back. Powered up to 26 cap. Uh, he has 91 speed, I believe, with uh, this double. I have tier three spinner, and I have Coach Madden on my salary cap team. Man, if you want to learn how to do that, make sure you hit the video below on my links about my salary cap team. You guys can definitely get tier three spinner and salary cap. And, of course, by now we all have John Madden, coach. Uh, like I say, he runs the deuce. He's using that Mahomes, man, really mobile. I'm, I'm assuming he has 105 throw power or something, but he, he kind of runs back a lot. So what? Uh, normally when I play deuce or any compression set, whether it be a, you know tight flex or tight offset or even bunch, uh, I like to not baseline and blitz a lot of people. That's what I started trying to do versus carry here, you know, get him uncomfortable in the pocket. But as the game goes on, I realize as I get him to a fourth and two here, I realize I can play coverage against this. He's going to run away with Mahomes. So let me just spy a fast linebacker, send the spy there, tries to hit that, throw that corner around standing on the sideline. Mahomes overthrows it, turnover on downs. Hit this laser over here to Moss, but he drops it. But like I said, I'm going to go ahead and just play a little more coverage, spy one of my fast linebackers. That way, you know, when he starts running around like this, I can send the linebacker and, you know, get that pressure that way. Because he's going to run around anyway. So once you notice your opponent's really running around like a chicken with their heads cut off, which most people do with Michael Vick or Lamar Jackson, whoever it may be, as I could throw fourth and 16 right here, throw it underneath but we get tackled with Julio Jones. So when people start running around crazy with Vick or whoever, I'll just spy somebody as you see. And then if they want to go ahead and scramble as soon as you get out, send that spy by clicking in the right stick. When you click in the right stick, that way the spy will go ahead and uh, just put them under enough pressure. And, you know, you don't like when, you know, people play like assholes right now with Vic and the mobile quarterback. So you got to have a fast spy to chase them down. Get them to a fourth and one, and he uses that mobile quarterback to pick that up. Deion Sanders. Man, I love Deion, but he's such a punk on the football field, man. He really is. But, you know, that's what you get with the 99 man, 99 speed, all that. He's going to be a punk. That's his weakness. And uh, he definitely did not strip the ball out from Patrick Mahomes there. There we go. Saving timeout so I can go ahead and possibly get something before the half all day right here. As I see it now, I should have sent the spy a little sooner. Dumps it off over there to Joe Mixon. Fights. Gets him to a third and short. I have no timeouts left, so Kerry keeps it on the ground. We definitely fight, hold him back. But by keeping it on the ground, he's going to allow me to run, run all the clock. 22 seconds left, man. You know, most people would go ahead and sit on a ball maybe, but I always take a shot. I've, I've played enough Madden. Watch enough Madden to know that, you know, stuff can happen when you take shots. Ten seconds left, I'm just going to call a play. Especially if he's out here in nickel or whatever it is. 
you know, I'm putting everybody on a fade, and somebody's going to get a shot. Calvin, Julio, Moss, somebody's going to get a shot. And I'll teach you guys this one day, man. 500 likes, I'll teach you how to do the Madden 19 swerve. Just a little whoop. Pop back out. Touchdown, Calvin Johnson. Huge play before the half. That's why I never just, you know, kneel the ball or go to half. I'm always going to take that one shot, that one Hail Mary into the end zone. Especially if Kerry does something dumb like that and leave a one-on-one in that situation. Uh, so we go up at halftime when it looked like we were about to be down, but now we're up 14 to 10. Feeling good about where I'm at in the game, even though I do a pick the first drive to a to a running back playing linebacker. But as you see now, now I'm going to go ahead and it looks like I'm going to start rushing a little bit more. Uh, three and four people, three man rush again. He actually hits the corner route now. Had my uh, match coverage flipped the other way, and and he really took advantage of that big play right there, picking up probably 60 yards to Julio Jones. Next play hits this laser over the top to Julio again on the post route. Right down the field for Carey to take that lead right back 17-14. to uh, And the first play, you know, it's going to happen to somebody. Boop! Right off a helmet, right to him. Pick. And Jamal Adams is going to go ahead and take this to the Baja. 24-14, to just like that. We were up four. Now we're back down 10. Time to fight again. But that's what we do here. There's still seven minutes left in this ball game. Carry is manning up everybody on my field. I'm telling you, this play cannot be manned up. If you like any of the offense, defense you see, make sure you hit that link below to go to Man Turf. Check out the W Saints ebook. This time, I quick snapped him, caught him on the D lineman, give up the deep place to Julio Jones. Back within three. That's what we got to do, man. This dude's close. I just got to make sure I stop the run. And honestly, uh, that's Miles Garrett. This Miles Garrett really fought for me. 25 cap Miles Garrett really was a fighter. Here we go again. No one really throw to, but he gets this little playmaker over here to Julio Jones. Julio Jones really killing me right now. But I'm really just, I don't want to give up another deep post or anything like that. So, I'm, I mean, just like most of my games, I just want to keep everything in front of me. No big plays. I can hold him to three and it's still a one possession game. I cannot give up a big play. Cannot give up a touchdown. I want to get the ball back with a chance to take the lead here. Here we go again. Bang, Gabe Martin. Gabe Martin is a spy, 12 cap, man, 76 speed. He's a monster. There you see Wham actually popping me for a little bit. Picks up 13 yards on that one. We're inside getting closer to the fourth quarter. Get some pressure right there by that guy, Khalil Mack. That's my ends, Mack and uh, Lawrence Taylor along with Miles Garrett at the tackle. And Gabe Martin, incomplete pass right there. We're going to go ahead and get him to third down. Sack Lawrence Taylor. Going into the fourth quarter, we're going to hold him to that three. So we're down by six. Opportunity to go ahead here and get the lead. First play, once again, he's manning up everybody. Hit this crossing route the Moss and whoop! Two for one special in the juke department. Down right there, 75-yard touchdown. First play, last two plays were huge bombs. I said, Kerry doing his man up. Everybody, man, is really not covering anybody. Quite the opposite of how I want to play. I just want to keep everything in front of me. Tackle, get physical, strip, hit. Let them know you're playing defense, man. That's what it's about. Make sure they have a long day at the office. Bang, I need Brian Dawkins to just put your hands up and pick that off one time for me. Fourth and five goes to the wheel route again. Fuller almost hits him back behind the line, but Chris Johnson fights and goes ahead and gets that first down. Now we're in trouble. He can run right here. A field goal wins the game. Got to play aggressive. He's going to run again, get to the two-minute warning. And this play, he goes ahead and passes here. And four-man rush gets nothing. He lobs up this wheel route, 99 speed. Chris Johnson, Dawkins has no chance. But really, that was the best-case scenario for me because I'm going to get the ball back. He has to go for two here to try to make it a seven-point game. Now, he's in this wide trips on the center. I'm going to man up. People, I'm expecting a run, a stretch, or a dive. I man up my safeties to help on the run. Once he audibles to this doubles north or whatever, I really don't know. I just expect the run. Runs the ball. Bang, Khalil Mack makes a huge play. Now I'm only down five. Now a touchdown can win me the game. And once again, next play, man's up. Everybody hit Calvin Johnson. One cut right up the middle. Take it to the Baja. Three straight plays. One play touchdowns, man. And as good as that dude's close is, man, when you play defense like that, it's not going to get it done. Now, I need a two-point conversion. It's little things like that that win and lose you games in Madden. 
I've been running this two-point conversion play for two, at least two years now. I definitely ran it in Madden 18 and Madden 19. It's definitely in New Orleans. And it's a little zig route, deep in route. This button hook over the middle. He goes for the button hook over the middle. Hit that deep in route along the back line. Most people will highball that, but I tell you, you can fit it in there without highballing it. Pause. Here we go again. You see Mahomes just making so many plays. Like somebody needs to get some pressure before then. Gets out of bounds right there with Joe Mixon. Up by three. Got to keep him out of field goal range, man. Everybody's pretty boxed right here. Gets the playmaker over top of Kyle Fuller. Chris Johnson right in field goal range. Big play right there, man. Next play, first and ten. Got to go up the field. Lawrence Taylor, Khalil Mack meet at the quarterback. Paul, call timeout. I snuck on aggressive for that pass rush. Next play again, Brian Dawkins, you're in the wrong place. Just put your head on a swivel and catch me a pick. Next play, third and 14. Playmaker back across the middle. Is he going to get the first hit stick? Brian Dawkins, timeout, 13-yard line. Now he chooses to go for this. The fourth and two, man. I really don't want to give up a touchdown. There's not much time left in the game. I'm, I don't think he's going to run. He's going to pass. I'm going to guard the middle of the field. It's going to be two type of crossing routes. Uh, I'm not going to overplay. I don't want to give up a touchdown. Touchdown, I lose this game. I got to just keep him in front of me. Guard that way. Guard this way. Throws it underneath. Kyle Fuller. Boxed. Get off the field right before the first down marker. We're going to run some clock and just run the ball. Take the air out of it. Bang. He calls his timeout. We're going to get to the line here. We're in just a little ace or a little whatever it is. Single back big. Three tight ends. Specialist. And I see him getting physical right here, and I have one timeout left. I say, little man tells me, you know, let, let's use this timeout. Let's talk to Joe Mixon and say, Joe Mixon, we can't have you fumbling this ball. Put it on conservative ball carry. Halfback dive. We're just going to run it right up the middle. Nothing fancy, nothing cute. I don't care if I have to punt this ball. I'd love to get the first down, but I'm cool running right here. Boom. Fall forward will fall sideways. Usually has one timeout left. I'm going to come out, quick snap this same play that's killing him. He's on a D lineman. Easy read. Wide open. Randy Moss. Let him know about it. Then fall on the ground. GG's in the chat for the carry man, dude. He definitely is a great offensive player. Got real crazy on defense. Gave up three huge plays. And you're never, ever going to win games of men when you let your opponents score in one play, man. One thing I'll never tell you guys, I'm a defensive stalwart. Like, I'm the best defensive player ever. But one of my biggest goals, man, is to make people take plays moving up and down the field. One, you have chances of hits. You have chances of fumbles. You have chances of sacks. You have chances of tip passes, interceptions, whatever it may be. But also, you get to look at your opponent's offense. You get to look at all their plays, all their route combinations, what plays they like on fourth down, what plays they like on this hash, what plays they like on first and ten. You know, and it just gives you more information about their offense. So late in the game, you know what to look for. As you see that game, I started off trying to send pressure at him, but then I realized, man, I'm just going to go ahead and send three and four and just keep him contained, keep everything in front of me. No more big plays. And me, him giving up the big plays is what lost the game for him. Great game to carry, man. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Comment below.